how to rank your videos with Bing Ads. Hey everybody, Adam Payne here. Hope this video finds you well. This is one of several videos I'm going to be creating over the next few days to give you a little bit of an insight into some of the stuff that I'll be including inside of the Video Marketing Insider course, which goes live on the 16th of January. And if you want to get on the early bird list, there'll be a link in the description. And I'll also give you a free gift, 57 profitable YouTube niches. Now, with that being said, this video is all about using Bing ads to get better results with your YouTube videos. Bing, of course, is a completely external traffic source when it comes to YouTube. And YouTube really, really values the fact that they get, your videos will get traffic from a source other than you know YouTube search or Google search. It's completely external. With that being said, you've got to know how to set up your Bing ads correctly so that you get the maximum bang for your buck. Now, you do not have to do this for all of your videos. In fact, I advocate you don't do it for most of your videos especially ones that are already ranking or already doing well. But if you've got a video that's you know, not getting enough traffic or perhaps you've got a relatively new channel that no one knows exists and therefore it's, you know, it's hard to get that little kickstart at the start, this is really going to help you because you're going to be able to get laser targeted traffic for a relatively cheap amount and that traffic is going to help kickstart that video and uh, boost it in the search engines, get more views, perhaps you might get likes, comments, subscribes as a side bonus. So this video does assume that you already have a Bing Ads account. Now, if you don't, you're going to have to go to the link in the description or just do a search and sign up for a Bing Ads account. Get everything connected. Um, you're going to have to use an email address, a payment method and all that stuff. But once you're ready to go, uh, you come to campaigns and you click on add new and you get this first options here. What's the goal of this campaign? Well, it's visits to my website. In this case, your website is actually your YouTube video. So I'm going to choose a video that I've already got on one of my channels and I'm going to call this campaign stock videos because that is what the actual video is about. And in fact, we can go over here. This is the video here, where to find good stock videos. That's the title of the video. Come back over. My campaign budget, I'm just going to do 10 bucks per day and I'm not going to keep this running for very long. I might keep this running for two or three days. You can budget much higher, but what I will say with budgeting is you just budget what you can afford. If you can afford 30 bucks a day, do it. If you can't, don't. It's always good to budget um, within reason. You can bid higher, and that'll kind of make sense later. But when it comes to any kind of paid ad campaign, whether it's YouTube ads or Bing ads, you want to budget relatively low, but you want to bid higher. That way, you won't spend more than 10 bucks a day. But by bidding high, which we'll get into later, as I've mentioned, it kind of shows, in this case, it shows Bing that you're a player, you're serious about it. So in this case, the language will be English. Um, for location, I'm not going to choose USA and Canada. Now, you could choose all regions, and a lot of people, and you've just got to test this for yourself, really. When you choose all available countries and regions, you may get clicks from certain countries which have no intention to take the desired action that your video is all about. But if it's just for views, that may not be a bad thing. But for me personally, my video is in English, hence the language, and I'm going to choose specific locations. And I'm going to type in certain countries. So I'm going to type in United States. You hit enter, and then you hit target. I'm going to do the same for United Kingdom. i to spell it correctly though. United Kingdom, enter, target. I'm going to also add in Australia enter and target and I'm going to choose one more I'll choose Canada enter and target um, again you completely up to what you do here some people advocate USA and Canada only because they say it's the best traffic there's just as good quality traffic in Australia New Zealand Ireland Canada um, UK um, but again you may want to choose other regions as well depending on the goal of your video come down here and we uncheck the second box. We only want people to see our ads who are in our targeted location. So people that are in these countries. And then we're going to save and go to the next step. Then we're going to enter our website URL, which is our YouTube video. So I'm going to copy the URL of that, paste that in there. And when, as you notice, when I click in here, something will auto populate over here. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to put in um, stock videos, just something like that. It's only for my personal benefit. And as you can see here, um, from this video, and it kind of works a little bit like the um, keyword planner or the display planner in Google AdWords, it reads your video and it kind of sees what it's about. So in this case, it says video marketer. And if I want to see all the keywords in this ad group, you can see, look, monitor text messages, marketing training, you know, 
not all of these are really good. So I could you kind of like, you know, click on a few of these things, but they're not really what my video is about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add something in here. Stock videos and hit enter. See if that changes it. And I don't know if it will or not. Um, what we got here? Stock images. Stock footage. Okay, bingo. Click on this. There we go. Now, people that are searching for this stuff, that's what this video is all about. Bingo. So I'm going to highlight all these and I'm going to add to the add to new ad group. Okay, and it puts all this over here. Now I can also add in stuff manually. Where to find good stock videos. And I can also copy that in here and remove the word good. And I can also do that once more and put HD. And of course, as you start playing around with this stuff, some of these things will change. But you will see, you know, food um, is not really related to this. Um, we've got some stuff here, video footage. I might add that in. Okay, you can kind of look at some other keywords, open up, seeing if anything comes comes to you. Royalty free video footage. I like that one. Um, royalty. Royalty free is okay, but I don't want to have the word free video footage because that's not what my video is all about. So let's just use that for now. Then we'll save and go to the next step. Now this is where we create our actual ads. So let's click on this one, create ad. Now again, I want to grab my URL because that is the URL here and it's HTTPS. Okay, and I'll also put that mobile as well. It's the same thing, it doesn't matter. Now when it comes to creating an ad inside of Bing, you get um, two lines for your title. So like this first part here and then the second part, and then you get some text. I don't have to worry about the path in this particular case, and I'll explain why in a second. So I'm gonna put like this, um, need HD, uh, let's see. Now you've got to play around with this. Um, need high, whoops. Need high definition footage? Question mark. This YouTube video shows all. Okay. Now add text. Watch this video to learn an alternative place to get high definition. Video uh, high definition footage. Okay, spell that correctly. Now you can see here for my title, I've got all caps. I've got caps for each word. It just makes it stand out. And as you can see, it pulls out here. Now I don't need to put my path in because the path. If we click on this little question mark, this is basically a simplified web page that appears. Now. Because YouTube is such an authority, YouTube is known to everybody. I don't need to change this. If I was creating an ad for my own website that a lot of people wouldn't know, and my website was called um, adampain.com, then my path might be adampain.com forward slash video footage, something like that. But in this case, I don't need to worry about it because it shows YouTube, and if they click on it, it does actually take them to a YouTube video. Now, there are a few things we can do. We can hit save and exit, or we can hit save and create another. So let's hit save and create another. So that's saved and now what I can do is I can come back in and edit this stuff. So I'm leaving the URLs the same, um, but let's see, discover a new place, uh, let's see, okay, wow, HD video footage galore. Okay, all from an unexpected place. Okay, and then in this case, watch this YouTube video. Having the word YouTube in there it actually helps sometimes because it just means everyone knows YouTube, as I've said, so it's not something that they might consider dodgy. And it is a YouTube video anyway, so we're, and we're not lying about that. So watch a YouTube video to learn an alternative place to get, to learn uh, where to, whoops, 
where to find amazing HD video footage. Where to find, let's change the word amazing, royalty free HD footage, okay? And I can create as many of these ads as I want. The reason you create more than one is because when this starts running, Bing will show all of your ads and one of these ads will outperform the others and you can kind of come back in there and get rid of the ones that aren't performing and stick with the one that is performing and then once you've got the one that's performing you can also come back in and see which keywords is getting the most traction but I'm gonna hit save I'm not gonna create I'm gonna create two now and you can see they pull up here if you want to create one more you just click on this and create one the same way if I click on this see it comes up again blank but we don't want one so two is enough just for the purpose of this tutorial video everything else I'm going to leave here as is I'm going to save and go to the next step I've got my budget here okay so I'll leave that as it is I'm going to maximize clicks you get different options here but I'm just going to leave it as it is set my bids to get the most clicks now you can see here the um, bid here is one dollar per keyword but we don't want that so basically I'm going to click on this and this is where we put in our uh, budget and this is a maximum cost per click that we are prepared to play. So I might put in something like 50 cents. That doesn't mean I'm going to pay 50 cents. What that means is I'm only prepared to pay 50 cents. Now this works in an auction. Let's just say you have two other people have, which have similar videos or similar websites that are targeting the same keywords. And they're bidding 70 cents and 80 cents. It goes without saying that Bing's going to show their ads more than mine because they're going to make more money. So I always try and bid a little bit higher than a normal just to kind of get my ad shown to kind of win the auction process but I'm safe because I've got ten dollars a day so regardless of what the, this is I'm never going to blow my ten dollar a day budget okay and then we've got this little drop down here based on your current bid and budget we don't think this ad group will get many clicks that's fine um, the reason is a it says it doesn't think so and b when after you know thousands and thousands of clicks, all I want to get is perhaps you know between ten, maybe ten clicks a day. If I can get ten clicks a day to that link, it will take them to a YouTube video, which is a topic which they're interested in because they've already typed it into the search engine. And if they watch my video and take no action, that's fine. It's going to be a high retention view, and that's going to help that video slowly but surely. It's not mission. It's not um, a miracle, but it's slowly going to surely help it go up the search engines. But this is just a, another way to get more traffic to your uh, YouTube videos. Again, don't use it for all your videos. Use it for some of them, but I think it's a really cool method. So with that being said, we're going to hit save. Oh, uh, I've done that. Okay, sorry, it's my mistake. Okay, 0 0.50. Save, and then we're going to go back, and then it's going to say, you know, you click on got it, and then you just got to wait for it to be approved. Shouldn't take too long because it's YouTube. They've not got you've not got to worry about whether the place you're sending them to meets all the requirements. It's YouTube. The only reason it wouldn't be approved is if you use outlandish or over the top copy in your ads, like watch this video to learn how I'm how you can make a million dollars in three seconds. Because we all know that kind of stuff is BS. But if you use common sense, you'll be fine. I'm teaching. This is one minute part of Video Marketing Insider. This is one section of one course. I mean, there are tons and tons of courses inside of Video Marketing Insider. There's way too much for me to explain in this particular video. But like I said, if you click on the link below in the description or in a YouTube card, you can get your 57 profitable niches. You'll get on the early bird and you'll be getting emails from me um, over the next few days and weeks all about Video Marketing Insider. We go live June, uh, January the 16th and I'm going to be launching this for 90 days. It's not your typical product launch. And over that 90 days, the price will never rise. But after that 90 days is up, it will rise. And regardless of in the future, if I do a sale, it will never come back to the price it was during that 90 days. So get on the early bird list and learn more and definitely um, consider Video Marketing Insider because it's going to really take video marketing to a new level, whatever you use video for. So with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.